Hi, Brenda with the Hospice Care Plan. Let's talk about falling at end of life. Um, as the body declines, it's really a normal thing for people to start having falls, as unfortunate as it is. And the goal is always, of course, to prevent falls. But I like to re remind people, there's every time a patient falls, there's this uh, huge process we need to go for, um, unusual occurrence reporting and this and that. And I always say, well, it's not unusual for a hospice patient to fall. It's, think about it, we, we always think we could probably do a little bit more than we can. We are in this constant reckoning with our body. I, I'm, if I go really slow, I know I can make it. But our body declines, it gets weaker. We don't easily wanna give up that independence of getting up on our own. And that's when falls happen. And falls are oftentimes, if it's a bad one, sometimes the beginning of the end and transition people into dying. So I'm not trying to make falls a good thing. I'm just saying you, you have to be aware that there's a high risk for falls. Uh, you can go to our website and look at all kinds of things to put in place to help prevent falls using a walker, standby assist. Um, and, and honestly, it comes to the place where that's when people can't really be alone anymore is when they are getting up and trying to do things independently when they no longer can and that's when they're at the most risk. So um, be aware that falls are a high risk uh, for injury and we can't always prevent it. We do the best we can. And I sometimes tell the facility nurses when they're like, you have to prevent the fall. I'm like, well, I can't strap them to their chair. So um, just be aware. That's always the first thing. Be aware that they need help.